Hey everyone, this is Scott from RedmondPhysicsTutoring.com, and in this video I'll show you how to find where the net electric field from two point charges is zero. I'm given two charges of positive 5 microcoulombs and negative 3 microcoulombs spaced 2 meters apart and asked to find where the net electric field is zero. There are two key ideas in this problem. First, superposition. The net electric field at any point is the sum of the electric fields from each individual point charge. The other key idea is that there are three regions to consider, left of Q1, between Q1 and Q2, and right of Q2. First I'll look at some random point left of Q1. E1 points away from the positive Q1 to the left. E2 points toward the negative Q2 to the right. The net electric field E is E1 plus E2 in vector form. E1 and E2 are in opposite directions, so in terms of magnitudes I get that the magnitude of the electric field E is equal to E1 minus E2. The electric field magnitude is given by kq over r squared, and I use that to determine whether E can be zero, which happens when E1 and E2 have the same magnitude and opposite direction. Q1 is bigger than Q2, which makes the E1 numerator bigger than the E2 numerator, and to get the same magnitude as E2, I would need the E1 denominator to be bigger as well. In this region, left of Q1, every single point is closer to Q1 than Q2. This means that R1 is less than R2, and since R squared is in the denominator, the E1 denominator must be smaller everywhere in this region. In other words, every point left of Q1 is closer to the stronger charge, so the magnitude of E1 is always bigger than the magnitude of E2, and the net electric field cannot be zero. Next consider the region between Q1 and Q2. E1 points away from the positive charge, to the right, and E2 points towards the negative charge, also to the right. Since E1 and E2 are in the same direction, they have to add up, and there's no way for the net electric field to be zero. Right of Q2, E1 points away from the positive Q1 to the right, and E2 points towards the negative Q2 to the left. Nice! These are in opposite directions, and although Q1 is still greater than Q2, R1 is also greater than R2, so it's possible for both the numerator and the denominator, in E equals KQ over R squared, to be bigger for E1 than E2. Every point right of Q2 is closer to the weaker charge, and if we find exactly the right point, we can figure out where they'll balance out. At this point, where the magnitude of the net electric field is zero, the magnitude of E1 is equal to the magnitude of E2. The constant K cancels out from both sides, and when I substitute in the values, I can see that the microcoulomb units cancel out too. This is nice and simple, but I still have two unknowns, R1 and R2, so I need another equation which comes from the problem setup. The charges are two meters apart, so R1 is equal to R2 plus two. Substituting that into the equation gives 5 over r2 plus 2 squared is equal to 3 over r2 squared. I can simplify this into a quadratic expression and then use the quadratic equation to solve for r2, getting r2 is equal to 6.87 or negative 0.87. How do I know which one to use? And what does negative 0.87 mean for r2? Since R1 is equal to R2 plus 2, when R2 is equal to negative 0.87, I find that R1 is 1.13, so this actually gives me a position between Q1 and Q2. It's easy to calculate E1 and E2 by substituting and solving, getting E1 is equal to 35,389 newtons per coulomb, and E2 is also 35,389 newtons per coulomb. At this point, E1 and E2 have the same magnitude, which is part of what I wanted, I need to use my understanding of physics though, that in this region E1 and E2 are in the same direction and cannot cancel each other out to realize that this is not a valid solution to the problem. How about when R2 is equal to 6.87, then R1 is equal to 8.87, and E1 and E2 are both 571 newtons per coulomb. In this case E1 and E2 point in opposite directions, so it is possible for them to cancel out. Therefore, the net electric field is zero at a point 6.87 meters to the right of Q2. Done. I'm Scott Redmond, and I help students pass physics. If you found this video helpful, please share it with a friend to help me boost even more students' physics grades. 